Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. And again, and again, and again. Um, it's been a while since I've done some videos, and I'm glad you guys are still subscribing. I think since my last video, I've actually gotten close to 200 subscribers, so most people haven't seen anything new in a, in a little while. It's been about a month, a month and a half, and I'm sorry about that, guys, but um, sometimes things sort of pile up, and I don't get out here and get her done, as it were. But now I'm out here, and this particular one is going I'm going to make a cobra and the coolest thing about this cobra and I will um, put you the links to the rest of this is this is like three videos that you have to watch just to or two videos you have to watch to catch up with what's going on the first I encased some green exotic and then I encased that green exotic with Illuminati and then I encased that in Illuminati with clear so and that was two videos actually and the third one of course is this one in particular which I am making a Cobra pendant out of it which is gonna be pretty cool I think you'll see what I'm talking about very very shortly it shouldn't take too too long I've got most of it under control as I as I speak to you um, that's going to be the head to the cobra. I'm going to pinch this a little bit at the neck. And now we're going to do the flare out. Matter of fact, no, we're going to try to flare it out from the, the body itself. But here we go. Oh, too late. Took too long. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And a little bit more on this side. Pinch, pinch, and pinch. Making sure that it's um, still pliable is the fun part. Okay, we've got the basic neck going on. And the uh, basic, uh, I guess what you call that... Um, where it puffs out the neck. Okay. I'm going to use some some blue um, periwinkle blue for the eyes. And I'm not really going to do much more to the design than this. There we go. Um couple of eyes been doing a lot of um, selling on Facebook with some of my I've been doing like peewee marbles and uh, also some other odds and ends of animals and figurines uh, every little bit helps to make ends meet if you know what I mean and in this case we got to uh, pick up a rod and I'm going to do a bale for the back of the neck here. I'm making it thicker as I go. That's okay. I will uh, layer it with the graphite rod that I have handy. There we go. It's simple but effective. Now, you got the eyes, you got the little puff out going on, and now I'm going to uh, basically do a couple of S curves on the main part of the body. And this baby is going to be in the oven. Okay, we're going to go that way, and then we're uh, swivel back the other direction. You got to do this slowly and you got to make sure that your glass is pliable 
and especially with the Illuminati in there, you want to make sure you've got some nice layering going on so that you're not um, not doing too much to it. Anyway, almost there. I want to uh, adjust this slightly. Get it that way. Oh, this might, oh, I might have screwed it a little bit, but we're going to make it work. Oh yeah, that'll work, that'll work. That will stay. Uh, you will see it lit up in the uh, description and also on my Facebook page, Melting Memories, uh, showing off what I have just done. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, all right. Make me a liar here. Uh, get me. I got it. Don't. This is where you could get frustrated. Oh, that's right. Like I said, you could get frustrated and break something. But I got it fixed again. Just get that thing off. And touch the loop a little bit better. Sometimes that happens with my bales. I've got to really work on working those better. But, we'll get there. Just make sure it's sealed on real well. And reamed out a little bit with graphite. It helps whatever you got available. And you've got and again you'll see it really really well in the uh, description so as always thanks for watching carpe vitro enjoy your day